for the New York Times and HAPS News. And I live draw for you every day, every weekday at 5.30. I do something, um, I talk about the news and I draw about it and uh, talk talk to you guys, hear your questions and and uh, dialogue with you about what's going on in the news. And there's a lot going on right now, at least in the United States. Uh, it's an understatement. Um, it's been exhausting. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. <laughs> it's emotionally draining. Um, and it's going to keep going because, because, uh, hi, Pablo, because, uh, they're still counting votes. Um, and we know that, uh, Joe, that, uh, President Trump is going to challenge everything. He's going to challenge with, um, legal action and he's going to challenge with uh, recounts, which is his right. Both of those are his right. Um, but I, many people feel, um, it, there's not much there, there, um, that, uh, you know, Trump just wants to take it to the Supreme Court, but he can't do that. He can't just walk over and and then ask the Supreme Court to take on his uh, grievance. It doesn't work that way. So um, we will see what happens. Some Republicans are are um, coming out and, and uh, uh, openly saying that he uh, that Trump is is not behaving properly. He, his Trump's uh, uh, um, I don't want to call it a speech because it was not really a speech. His missive, his his uh, broadcast, his his talking from the White House uh, yesterday was alarming in how many lies it contained and how much he was trying to um, trying to stir up his base and uh, and claim that the, the the election was rigged, which it was not. Um, and he he just cannot lose. He just does not want to lose. So. Um, Anyway, you know, you guys are watching the news, you know where we are, you know what's going on. And um, so it's going to be a, a bit of a slog. We're going to be waiting for the re for the votes to be counted. They're still not finished yet. But Biden is ahead uh, and he's, he's shy of um, the electrical votes, uh, sorry, the electorate votes that he needs. Uh, but he's he's getting there um, slowly, but surely. Uh, I think he will get the electoral votes that he needs, 270. Um, but then but then Trump's going to be battling uh, the, him in court. So we'll see. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Hi, Sonia. Um, hi, Mark. So um, let me turn this around and draw something for you. W one thing that I uh, was really aware of, um, and I've been watching the news most of the day, which may be why I'm so tired. <laughs> At one point I said to my husband, um, it's really quite remarkable and quite wonderful that the last two states, I mean, there's several states that are outstanding, but the two that are most key right now are Georgia and Pennsylvania. And they're counting the votes that from the two urban areas. Let's turn that off. Um, two urban areas in those states, uh, Atlanta and Philadelphia. And so, and Joe Biden is getting more and more votes, getting lots and lots of votes from these two urban areas. And so what's, what's remarkable, what's, what's wonderful is that he's, that, that the, 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 the group of Americans that are going to decide this election for, for Joe Biden are the black and brown Americans um, in these cities. And I think it's um, quite historic and quite wonderful. So let me see, which pen should I use? Um, with that said, uh, it has to be, which pen do I want? Sorry, I'm having a little brain freeze here trying to find the right pen. I guess this will have to do. I can't find the one I usually like. There it is. Uh, although this one might work too. Let's try it. Let's test it out. That said, um, in Georgia, I have a good friend who's a, a, um, a political consultant in Georgia. And so I get a lot of, and she's in, she's in rural Georgia as well as Atlanta. So she, she's seeing a lot of what's going on down there and she knows everybody and she's very, anyway, she, what I've learned is that Stacey Abrams is a, is a bit of a force in Georgia. And she, when she lost two years, two years ago, she lost the, her gubernatorial race. She uh, did not, was not able to beat Kemp. And um, 
it was because of voter suppression. And so she took her, her, um, her position, she was a state legislator, but she, she took her position to, uh, to try to, to combat voter suppression everywhere. And Fair Fight, I think is the name of She started an organization. And she's worked tirelessly to, to combat voter suppression. And, um, and I think her activities in Georgia have, have been instrumental in getting the, out the vote in Georgia. So you have to give a lot of credit to Stacey Abrams. <clears throat> So I'm drawing Stacey Abrams. I wonder if she'll be getting a cabinet position if, if Joe Biden is elected president, which I think he is going to be. I was honored this past year before the pandemic to um, be asked to give a, give a speech to an organization, the name of which I cannot remember. I'm sorry, I didn't plan to, to say this just now because I don't remember the name of the, the place I spoke at in New York. And uh, I was the, the keynote speaker for the lunch crowd and Stacey Abrams was the keynote for the evening crowd. I was quite honored. I didn't get to meet her because I had to go on to another event I had to leave, so I couldn't stick around and meet her later. But uh, um, I was going to put, I'm just going to leave it like this and, and give her a necklace. I'm not going to be able to paint this, I don't think. It's going to be too wet. But I'll paint it later. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Um, hi, Karen, you're already in bed. <laughs> I know so much about electoral college, cure, curing votes, counties, states, exhausted. Yep, uh, me too. I've learned so much watching, watching the news. Um, Pablo says, I hope she does or at least gets a lot of support next time and she runs for office. Yeah, she um, she will probably, we will be seeing a lot of Stacey Abrams going forward. Um, and I'm not, again, I'm not gonna paint this right now because it's it's wet and it'll just bleed and it'll be a re real big mess. Uh, there's another drawing that I was doing um, earlier thinking I would do for you guys and uh, I'll do that. Should I do that in charcoal or pen? Mm, I'll do it in charcoal. Um, a more visual thing. It's been hard to think of, of drawings today. I did one last night of Trump, um, and it's on it's on my Instagram of Trump's. You know how he's he's been doing. He's been tweeting, and and Twitter has been putting warnings on his tweet, so you can't see him unless you click the warning sign to open it. So I did a drawing of Trump's face with a big warning sign. Maybe I'll do that drawing for you. All right. Another piece of paper. Um, I did it on my iPad. Uh, just mimicking what Twitter does with, with its... Um, Warning signs. So he's been he's been tweeting out things that are um, untrue. Also, s some of uh, his followers were were trying to stir up um, 
uh, demonstrations and fights, uh, and Facebook stopped them. It's going to be an interesting time. This is what I did last night. I did a drawing of this. Trump. Um, mm, let's see. A lot of people are wondering if Biden wins, which my my guess is that he will. Uh, will Trump go to the inauguration? What do you think? Uh, Sonia said, I thought Stacey was going to win her race for election. Yeah, everybody did, actually, I think. Um, I think Trump's um, staff and supporters, or at least the people near him, are trying to prevent him from speaking because he just makes matters worse sometimes when he opens his mouth right now. So I was going to do this drawing. Um, more visual drawing. Sometimes when I don't have an idea, I head towards letters and words. Um, So he will have recount. In fact, George is already going to be recounting. They said they will because it's awfully close. I think they're legally supposed to, to do that if it's under 1.5% challenge. Oops, going to get an E in there. Um, Legal challenge. Um, I think I'm going to use a different pencil for this. Sorry, I have to concentrate. Whenever I am drawing words, I often misspell. Biden is supposed to speak tonight. I don't know if Trump will speak. Doesn't really look like Biden, but I try my best. I didn't sketch it out first. Kind of looks like Biden's going to fall. Didn't mean to do it that way. So if you just join me, it's Liza Donnelly. I'm a cartoonist and a writer for various places. And I live draw every day at 5.30 during the week. And Daisy Abrams, where is it? 
which I'll paint later. Because I think Stacey Abrams um, had a lot to do with getting Georgia to turn blue in this election. And it's really, I have a friend who is in politics down there, and it's really a lot of races have uh, have, have gone blue. And um, also what's also encouraging, not just in Georgia, but um, people of color have been elected. Women have been elected. Um, and uh, a tran the first transgender person was elected to a state Senate in Delaware. So it's, things are changing in our country slowly at, in small ways too. This, this election was disappointing in that I thought there would be a massive repudiation of hate with um, the Democrats, but it didn't happen. And I, we'd have to start thinking about what, what, what that's all about. And um, my black and brown friends would say, well, we know what it's about. It's a racist country. Okay, we have to fix that, we have to change that. Um, it's gonna bleed, I know it. Let's give Trump some color in his face, shall we? So, that's another way to go with a cartoon if you can't think of anything. Um, yeah, the shorts. Barbara says, oh, that's right, the shorts. That reminds me of the official of one of one of the remaining states said this morning that Trump needs to put on his big boy pants and quit the tantrum. Yes, that was the the mayor of Philadelphia, I believe, who said that. Uh, sophisticated reader says, I'm glad Trump is losing. Um, Karen would like to see, I'd like to be a fly in Pence's head in the West Wing today. Yeah, don't you often wonder what's going on in the West Wing, in the in the White House? Who's going to tell Trump to give it up? I mean, he doesn't have to give it up yet. He can do all the recounting and the legal challenges that he wants. Um, but Sonia says, terrible this way, but all votes need to be counted. It's true. Yep, it's our democracy. All right, I'm going to turn you around and say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Hope you have a good weekend. Um, it's been exhausting. I've said that already, I know. Um, but I, uh, I am always a pleasure to see you guys, and I will see you again on Monday. Same time, same place, every day at 5.30. I live draw for Haps News. I do something that's in the news, and maybe we'll know more on Monday. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just be watching Trump launch uh, legal challenges. We'll see. Okay, take care, everybody, and I hope you're well. And did I show you the Stacey Abrams drawing? I'll paint that in later. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again. Thanks, Mark. Bye. Have a great weekend.